All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up a Lenovo T450. Um, so it's pretty simple, it's just the clips get stuck. So first what you wanna do is remove the battery, of course, you just pull these levers to the side, and while you're pulling it to the side, you have to push the battery out, okay? So it's already slightly pre-disassembled to make it easier, um, but yeah. Then you take all the screws out, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, the screws will actually stay in place, so I mean, just undo the screws. Um, sometimes if you pull on it, um, if it's getting stuck, the screw might still be, like, um, screwed in a little bit. So while you're pulling it, you can, like, try and undo the screw. Um, and then after you do that, you basically just go all the way around, pulling all the edges out um, between the gap. And um, I had a little trouble with the clip, with the clip here and here um, I got this one out because I got everything else out except for those two sides I just used this little um, flat pry tool um, and then you basically just get between the little gap and you just pry it okay um, don't use too much force because you can break stuff but yeah you just pry this up and I'll show you underneath why it's difficult but once you pry that you can basically lift this. It'll also be a little bit difficult to get the clips that are latched under here out. But basically you can use your nails or a pry tool and just pull on it. Okay. So the reason this one is so difficult. So you can see there's like this little clip here that protrudes out and grips into the, the case. Um, but other than that, that's the only hard part about getting this case off. Um... The keyboard is a different thing. So the keyboard, um, and actually this laptop has two batteries in it. So you also want to disconnect this battery cable if you're going to mess with stuff that could potentially get damaged. Um, so there's this cable on top of it, but basically this one you'd have to pull out as well. Okay. If you're going to work on anything like the video cables and stuff. Usually if your cable, as long as you um, touch something metal outside the computer just to drain any static charge. And you don't drop anything metal in here, you're going to be okay even if you leave the battery. But to be safe, you can disconnect all the batteries and hold the power button. Okay, um, underneath, um, if you look at this cover, there's also a little hole here. That's like a CMOS or battery reset. So you can see there's the button here. Um... And then this computer has like multiple um, cover detectors, so it knows that the cover is not on the bottom of the laptop. So there's actually one little switch here and then one switch here. So if the cover's not on, um, most likely it's not going to let you turn it on. Okay, um, but that's that. Then there's a regular two and a half inch um, SATA hard drive to remove that there's just the one screw here you remove that and then you can kind of lift it at an angle and slide it out and then you got the RAM here so let me see what type of RAM if it shows here we go so this is a DDR3 um, PC3 12800S so here you can see okay so that's the type of RAM you need so this has four gigs already um, yeah and then that's pretty much it for those upgradable parts. Okay, let me put this back in. Okay, then you got the fan here. So it looks like to remove the fan, you'd have to remove the heatsink or at least remove the whole motherboard um, to get the fan out. The fan is like integrated. Okay, then you got this um, connector here for the USB port. This is a USB 3 port. You got the DC jack that runs underneath all the way connects right here. Okay, you got the LCD connector here. Um, then you got the Wi-Fi and uh, local and wide area network LAN cards. So there's an extra slot for a wide area network card, um, which I believe that's for like SIM cards and stuff. And then you got the regular Wi-Fi card. The antennas you remove... A um, just like all the other models, at the end of the tail you lift up, don't lift towards the front of them or you can break the connector. Okay, and then you got the CMOS or the BIOS battery here, the connector's there. Um, you got another connector here, I believe this is for like the webcam and microphone, things like that. Then you got um, 
this cable here, which to remove it, you flip this up and then you pull this cable out. Uh, I believe that's for the power button underneath. Um, then all the ports, the rest of the ports seem to be all part of the board. Um, then you got the speaker here with the speaker connector. Another part of the speaker cable goes all the way along the bottom to this speaker. Um, and then I'm not too sure what this this cable is for. Let me see here. Is there anything? Let's see. No fingerprint sensor. So that might actually just be for the trackpad. NGFF. I'm not sure what that stands for. I don't think that's trackpad though. But um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. It looks like um, the CPU is soldered to the board, like on most other laptops these days. So you can't remove or upgrade it. <coughs> and yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully this video helped you. Um, if anything, changing the hard drive and upgrading the RAM should be easy for you. Um, but yeah, uh, then there's also, these models have these little holes that if you spill something in the keyboard, it'll actually leak through, and that's what these, these symbols are. So for this model, <clears throat> you don't actually want to flip the laptop upside down if you spill water in the keyboard, because if you flip it upside down, there's these little holes here, but if you flip it upside down, the liquid can actually drip and then go under the covering this way, but if you leave it um, up, then it'll actually just drain through these little holes here. So this lip is raised to keep the water going straight down. But yeah, so you don't want to flip this one upside down if you spill liquid in it. Um, and yeah, worst case scenario, if you spill stuff in the keyboard, then you'll have to replace the keyboard. And it looks like there's a drain hole for the trackpad as well. Actually, I don't know if that's for the trackpad as well or just the keyboard, but yeah, worst case, if you spill on top of the computer, then hopefully these will all be okay as long as you just leave it up, sitting up for a long time to completely drain out. Okay, um, that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me out. And thanks for watching. Bye.